Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. I'm so excited to make this video. This is introducing the Lovelace Saga, a Cardano-based NFT game that is going to be built incorporating the Kaizen series NFTs. So a lot of hard work that has gone into this project. I'm so excited to show you this video. We're going to be talking about some of the different things related to the drop rates, the rarities, the pricing, really just giving you as much information as possible about our NFT project. We're going to go through the process of actually purchasing one of these NFTs and how you can actually see this token in your wallet. I'm going to go through some of the frequently asked questions related to our project and show you some sneak previews related to the gamification for these tokens. Yes, it is actually going to be a game. So we're really working hard. We're building as much as possible. There's going to be some smart contract features built into it. There's going to be some type of tournaments and marketplaces. So many cool things. I can't wait to show you guys what we're building. So a big thank you to everybody on our team and everybody in the Cardano community that has helped us get to this point. There's been a lot of hard work, a lot of long nights put into this project, and we still have a long way to go. But regardless, just a huge shout out and a huge thank you to everybody who has helped us get here. Also, we're going to be taking a look at some of the tools, some of the marketplaces, going to show you some of the community-led efforts that we've got with this project. So lots of cool stuff coming up in this video. If you guys do enjoy it, if you do find some value from this content, please be sure to drop a like. It definitely does help us out. And also, if you want to stay up to date with everything Cardano and keep up to date with our latest projects, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and take a look at the computer. We'll go ahead and get started taking a look at the Lovelace Saga. All right, everyone. So we are taking a look here at the computer and the sale has officially begun for the Lovelace Saga. What's really cool about this is that we've incorporated characters from the Cardano community that are actually going to be represented by these NFTs. Now, what's really awesome is that this is going to be some of the Series 2 characters but if you're an OG, if you've participated in Kaizen NFT Series 1, we had the Charles Hoskinson Samurai and the Kaizen Samurai. That is also going to be incorporated as part of the gamification for the Lovelace Saga. So lots of cool things. If you are an early supporter of Kaizen NFTs, you actually get that unique aspect as well. So as far as what we're talking about related to the pricing, the drop rates, so we've got the four main characters up at the top here. So these are going to be your Cardano community characters. You guys might recognize some of these. We've got Kyle Solomon with Frog, Snake Pool. We've got Shweta Chow Han. We've got Samuel Leathers, and we've got Lars Brunez. So lots of cool character designs here. These are going to be featuring members in the Cardano community. And then we've also got some booster characters. These are going to be characters based on animal designs. I think we've got a dragon, there's an owl, there's a fox. So there's a cat, you know, really cool creative stuff. Uh, the artwork I'm really enjoying so far. We're actually going to take a look at that. We're going to go through the process of actually purchasing some of these tokens. So 15 ADA is going to be the cost of your booster characters. We really tried to keep the price point affordable for most people so that as many people as possible can participate and play this game. Of course, if you do want to go with something that's a bit more rare, and we'll talk about the rarity in a second, you can also go with the Cardano community characters for 50 ADA. So that's what we're looking at there. We've got... So in total, nine characters to choose from. The booster characters are going to be randomized, uh, which is going to be something that's interesting about the tokens. You know, you get the little bit of fun aspect because it is random. You really don't know what you're going to get. Uh, but then again, they are also going to be rare based on time. So let's get into that. As far as rarity, now with the four main Cardano characters, those are going to be the same as we had for our previous sales for the Kaizen series of NFTs. It is a time-based rarity. So essentially you have one week from the time that the sale goes live in order to purchase any of those four characters. After that week time, that's it. None of those tokens are ever going to be created again. So those are going to be how the rarity is based for the four main Cardano characters. And as far as the different variations, each one of those tokens has three different variations, some being more desirable than others, really just based on color, some of the different effects. They all do contain animations as well. So, you know, just another cool thing there. We'll take a look at a website called pool.pm and we'll actually be able to see some of those cool animations. Um, and as far as the booster characters, so you've got your five characters down here, and we'll actually take a look at the website and look at that in more detail. But essentially with that, 
the drop rate is going to be this right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this graphic. So you've got five different types of characters and you can buy up to 10 at a time. Now, essentially you've got a rare character. So 20% of all of these tokens. So this is Drake. So this is our dragon based character. You've also got 30%, which is going to include the tiger and the fox. And you've got the common, which is about 50% of the drops is going to include the cat and the owl based characters. Now these all have their own unique name. They've got their unique attributes and backgrounds. It's gonna be a random color. And as far as the time limit for these, so we had talked about how you have one week for the main Cardano characters. The time frame for these is gonna be up until the point where we release the game for the Lovelace Saga. We really want to evolve that platform and allow it so that many people can participate. It really does make it a bit more fun if as many people as possible can participate in the game aspect. So these booster characters are going to have the lowest price point at 15 ADA, and they are also going to be on sale for a bit longer so that as many people can participate in our game. So those are just some details relating to price and drop rates and rarity. Uh, of course, if you guys do have questions, we're going to talk about how you can go about getting your questions answered at the later part of this video. But now that we've gone through some of those details, let's actually take a look at the website. So I'm so excited about how this website turned out. You can check it out at lovelacesaga.com. I am going to be sure to provide any links that we talk about in the description below if you guys do want to check that out. But it's a very straightforward process to be able to purchase any of these tokens. So what we'll do after we've gone to the website, let's go ahead and click on buy now. And here we see the graphic that we were just taking a look at. We've got so many cool characters here. So you've got Gangsta Frog. We can click on buy now and it's going to give us more information about these tokens. Gangsta Frog, you guys might recognize him, Kyle Solomon. So shout out to Frog Steak Pool. Uh, really awesome guy, you know, just super cool. He actually created a Kaizen jet chicken. So we had to do something fun for Kyle. So here he is as a frog, you know, he's minting his space coins. Uh, we had some fun with the artwork. I'm really excited about how they turned out. Um, so each concept art will unlock a playable character in the Lovelace saga. So if we go back, this is the concept art for Gangsta Frog. This is going to be the playable character that will be incorporated in the game aspect of Lovelace Saga. So if you've purchased any of these tokens, you can actually connect your wallet to the platform once we have that functionality built, and you'll be able to play as that character in the game. So that's something really cool that we like uh, with the NFT aspect for the game. Uh, and then you've got a whole bunch of other cool characters here too. So Shweta Chauhan as the Lovelace legend. So she's a legend in real life, and we had to make her a legend in the game as well. So really cool. I'm excited about how this one turned out. Just to give you an idea of the different variations. So we can see here that she's got her shield. This is the K-Blocks logo for her K-Blocks stake pool. And the variation is going to be different for the color of the shield, for example. Um, so it'll have bronze or silver. And then we've got this one right here is another great example. This is Lars Brunez. So this is the concept art. We've got the Plutus Pioneer. So he's got his laser sword and different color variations there. Of course, these are also animated. So really cool, really cool. And then you can buy up to three. So let's say if you buy one of these main character types tokens, so you get one of those different variations. If you were to buy the max quantity of three, you would receive all the different variations that are included. So that's how the main characters are gonna look. Let's go ahead and take a look at the booster characters. So here we have the gamification style characters for these tokens, and we can see the concept art if we click on the buy now option. So we've got this cat character, so her name is Nico. So Nico is actually the Japanese word for cat. So we had to come up with some pretty cool names. We had some fun with it, guys. I'm really excited about how the artwork turned out. You can scroll through and you can see the different characters. This is all concept art, which will also allow you to play as the character in the Lovelace Saga game. So there are six different backgrounds with different drop rates. And then there's also a scarcity aspect built in based on time. So as soon as the platform goes live, the sale will pretty much be over and that's it. Whoever has the tokens will be able to participate in the uh, game aspect of the Lovelace Saga. Now with these tokens also, you can buy up to 10. So as far as how that would look, let's say if you were to purchase the maximum quantity of 10, you would receive random tokens, including some of the different backgrounds and some of the different playable characters.
So these are 15 ADA, and we saw that the main characters were 50 ADA. So now that we've taken a look at these, let's go ahead and see about going through the process to purchase one of these tokens. So a big favorite among the community was Gangsta Frog. So I think uh, I would love to pick up one of the Gangsta Frogs. So let's go ahead and click on buy now. What this is gonna do is walk us through the process, put us in the queue to be able to purchase one of these tokens. Now I do have my Daedalus wallet already pulled up. You guys wanna make sure that you are only using a supported wallet in order to be able to purchase one of these Cardano NFTs. So things like Daedalus, Adalite, Yoroi, any of those supported wallets should work just fine. Please be sure that you do not send any ADA from an exchange. Now, exchanges are not currently supporting Cardano native tokens such as NFTs. So be sure that you are using a supported Cardano wallet. What we have here, just taking a look at the process, it's saying that it's our turn. Complete our transaction with the information below and await confirmation. What we'll need to do is click the address to copy this to our clipboard. We'll have to send the ADA to this address and we'll need to click the amount to copy to clipboard for the amount in ADA. Now, you wanna make sure you're not sending only 50 ADA because this right here, 50.173526, this is actually the dust amount, which is going to trigger the transaction to mint and send the token. So be sure that you are sending the correct amount of ADA to the correct address using a Daedalus, Uroi, or Adalite wallet. So you got about 15 minutes to go through this process. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Let's go ahead and copy this address. So we'll go ahead and highlight it. Once you clicked it, it does copy it. Just to be sure, I'm just gonna click on copy on my computer. Let's go ahead and go to our Daedalus wallet. And we can see we've got our tokens wallet pulled up here, ready to go. In order to go through the process of sending, we're gonna click on send at the top. We're gonna to paste in that address, which we copied to our clipboard. Next, it's gonna ask us to enter in the amount in ADA. So we'll need to go back to the website and we can see the amount in ADA. So 50 ADA, let's go ahead and copy that. Now we gotta make sure it's got the dust amount as well. Don't send just 50 ADA. So we'll have to make sure that we pay attention to these numbers following the quantity of 50 ADA. So let's go back to Daedalus and we'll go ahead and paste in that exact amount. We can see that is correct. So just go ahead and verify everything. We can see the address which we are sending to. We've got the amount in ADA, everything looks correct. So let's go ahead and click on send. The next option here is to type in your spending password. After you've typed in your spending password, we'll just go ahead and click on send. And we can see now that the transaction is pending. So we'll have to give this a second. It says that Daedalus is thinking right now, this is going to submit the transaction to the blockchain. Let's go back to the Lovelace Saga. One thing you want to be sure of is to not close out this window until the transaction has been confirmed by the blockchain. So we're just gonna leave it like this. We're gonna keep this window open until the transaction is confirmed. So we'll just have to leave everything like this Right now, while we're waiting for this, I want to show you something really cool. We were talking earlier about how previous editions of the Kaizen NFTs will actually be included in the gamification. So I wanted to show you, I'm not sure if you guys remember the Husky Queen. So this was another NFT that was from our series two featuring Carolyn Talling from Husky Pool. So this is going to be her gamification character for the Lovelace Saga. Really excited about how that one turned out too. Also with the series one, we had the Charles Hoskinson Samurai, we had the Kaizen Samurai, all going to be included in the Lovelace Saga. So excited about that. Those are actually going to be super rare, considering those are actually part of our series one. So let's go back to the website. Let's check to make sure if the transaction has been confirmed. So it's still open. So we'll just leave it as that. Let's go to our Daedalus and check on that, make sure the transaction has confirmed. So here we see the transaction has been confirmed, this amount of 50 ADA, so that looks good. So it'll just take a second for the token to be minted and sent to our wallet. So you wanna make sure you're not closing anything out, especially on the website, because this keeping this window open is what is going to allow the transaction to trigger and mint the token. So let's go ahead and just wait for a second here. Uh, while we're waiting on this, I wanted to talk about what's coming up in the later part of this video. So we're going to take a look at the website called pool.pm. I get a lot of questions about how you're able to 
view these NFTs once they've been sent to your wallet. So pool.pm is a really great tool created by Smog Stake Pool. So this is kind of like a Cardano blockchain explorer, which allows you to see all the different types of stake pools and tokens that are being transacted on the Cardano blockchain. So I'm going to show you how to use that tool. And we're also going to take a look at some of the gamification aspects of the Lovelace Saga. So this is a game that is going to feature these NFTs. And I want to show you just a sneak preview about what that actually looks like. And also, if you are going to be looking for a Cardano NFT marketplace, I wanted to go ahead and briefly show you the cnft.io Cardano marketplace and some things to look out for so that you can be safe against anybody who is going to try and create imitations or copycat NFTs. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. We're just going to give this a second here and wait for our token to be minted. Okay, so it took a couple minutes, but we can see now on the website, it shows that the transaction is confirmed. So congratulations, your transaction has been confirmed. We're making the tokens. Please stand by. We've got the cool little Kaizen Buffy bot up here pulling up the Ada Gangsta Frog Kaizen NFT. So <laughs> this is super cool. Um, I love I love the entire process. I mean, the user experience, I, I'm enjoying it so far. I would love to know your feedback. If you guys go through the process, let me know what you guys think. If there's some things that we can work on to improve, if you like the experience, let us know down in the comment section. So that's what it looks like. We've got the Kaizen Buffy bot. Big shout out to Adam Dean. Thank you so much for helping us get this going with the Buffy bot tool. So now that we've got our NFT minted, you can choose either to get another one if you enjoyed the experience and if you want to try again, or we can just go ahead and close out of this window. So we'll go ahead and close out of this for now. I kind of want to go through and purchase another one just because that was a lot of fun. But for the sake of this video, we'll move on. So now we were talking about how you can actually view this token in your wallet. So let's go back to Daedalus first to check and see what it looks like when the token is received. So we can see now the token has been received. It shows us 1.48 ADA. So that is the ADA that has been sent along with the token to cover the costs to send it on the blockchain. If we hover over this, this is the token which was sent along with the transaction. We've got Gangsta Frog number 37. Very, very cool. So I'm excited about that. Now, if we want to see this token in our wallets, aside from just this bit of metadata that we see in Daedalus, let's go ahead and click on receive. We're going to go to a website called pool.pm. And what we'll need to do is paste in our wallet public address into that blockchain explorer. So any one of these receiving addresses should be fine. We'll just go ahead and click on share so that we can copy it. Go ahead and copy our address to our clipboard. Close out of this. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the website called pool.pm. I've already got that pulled up. This is the website main page, and we can see a whole bunch of cool things here. This is pretty much showing you the Cardano blockchain in real time. This is showing you all the blocks that are minted, different changes in delegation. So cool stuff. If you haven't already checked it out, pool.pm. What we'll need to do to see our token, we'll have to click on the search icon on the top right, and then the search bar right here, we'll just need to go ahead and paste in that public address. And there it is. So we can see our token. We'll just go ahead and click on Gangsta Frog. We've got an awesome animation as well as the still image. This is a high quality resolution animation. And there he is. There's Gangsta Frog minting his space coins and making it rain. So I'm so excited about that. Really cool. It's just amazing to see the quality of the artwork and the animations. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It'll also show us any metadata related to the specific token. We can see this is one of the bronze space coins, part of the Kaizen NFT series too. So that is going to be how you're able to view your token within the Cardano wallet. While we are on this website, one thing I did want to show you is the sales for Kaizen NFTs it's actually going to be in an effort to help support single pool operators on the Cardano blockchain. So it's a small thing that we've decided to help give back to the Cardano community. Really all the ADA that is being used and created for these NFTs is being put right back into the Cardano community. So the stake pool that we are currently focusing our community delegation efforts to is tail stake pool. So this is another great way for me to show you how to go about using pool.pm 
you can actually search for any specific stake pool using this website. So Tail Stake Pool, big shout out to Mermaida. So they've actually got the Mermaida NFT minting tool. It's a big, big contribution to the CNFT community. Definitely be sure to check them out. So this is the Tail Stake Pool. And we can see that that amount of ADA just popped up in their wallet. So these are not new delegations. This is existing delegation. So we can see that this amount has been added to the wallet, which is being delegated to this single community stake pool. So it's a small thing that we can do to help give back to the CNFT and the Cardano community. I'm really hoping that this can help the tail stake pool get to the point where they're able to mint blocks each epoch. I know we are a small fish with this project in a large pond, but it's just something that we can do to help give back. So 44 ADA, what that is basically, it's showing that this is the amount in ADA which was sent to this wallet. It does cost us a little bit to actually mint the token. So this is the amount after the cost to mint the token. So just a bit of a preview there. So we are actually giving all the ADA back to the Cardano community, which we earn from our Kaizen series NFT and Lovelace Saga. Now, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some of the in-game functionality for these tokens. So we've got the gamification aspects for these characters, right? So you can go back here and you can purchase all of these characters if you want to, if you want to really have some fun with it. These are all going to be used in a game. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what that actually looks like. A bit of a sneak preview for you guys. Make sure you're following us on social to stay up to date with all the latest updates at Lovelace Saga. This is what we're working on. This is the Charles Hoskinson Samurai from the Series 1. So I'm not sure how many gamers we have in the audience, but if you guys think about Super Smash Brothers, except for your favorite Cardano characters. So I'm so excited about it. This is some of the animations that we're currently working on. So we can see the Charles Hoskinson Samurai in action right here. This is a sneak preview just for you the audience of our YouTube channel. So lots of cool stuff. Of course, you guys know that we are waiting on smart contracts. As soon as we do have the functionality of Gogin, we'll be able to incorporate all sorts of cool things. Uh, we'll have some form of a marketplace where you can purchase power-ups and in-game items for your characters. Uh, we'll also be able to hold things like tournaments. There's going to be incentives to play the game as well. So you'll earn different types of tokens and different other NFT prizes. So there's lots of cool stuff, guys. I mean, the sky is really the limit for what is possible with this project. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that a bit of a sneak preview, some of the gamification aspects for these NFTs. Now, as far as being able to trade your tokens, buy tokens on the open markets, one of my favorite projects so far related to the CNFT marketplaces is going to be CNFT.io. So they have just recently come out with their marketplace. This is going to be pretty much a one-stop shop, which would allow you to sell, mint, launch your own NFT projects. I mean, just a whole bunch of cool things. In this case, what we want to do, I just want to show you a couple of things related to Kaizen NFTs and some cool aspects about this marketplace that'll help you stay safe if you're going to be looking at purchasing any tokens on the open markets. So let's go ahead and search for Kaizen. So these are some of the Kaizen NFTs. We can see here that that keyword brought up quite a few Kaizen NFTs. We've got a bunch of projects that feature Kaizen crypto. So huge shout out to all the different projects featuring Kaizen crypto. You know, it's so cool to see this brand really take off. It's going to be awesome. This is one of our first Kaizen NFTs. This is from series one. This is the legend of Kaizen, also animated, high quality detail, also going to be featured as an in-game character in the Lovelace saga. So there's lots coming up, guys. I, I just can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. You've got some tags listed for this specific token. This person has listed this token sale price at 400 ADA. Definitely not what we were charging. So you guys can see what is truly possible with the price appreciation for some of these tokens. Not financial advice, but I'm just showing you guys that uh, these NFTs do not do not sleep on Cardano NFTs. One big thing to look out for is the policy ID verification for these tokens. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to try and 
mint copycats are going to have their own spinoffs and they're going to create fakes and all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure that you are staying safe out there if you're going to be looking to purchase any of these NFTs on the open markets. One thing I really like about this platform is that they've even got a policy verification so this right here is a green check. It's pretty much a verified policy for this specific NFT. So the policy ID for our Kaizen NFTs, I love our policy because it's got five eights. Big thank you to Mermaida with Tail Stake Pool for that, hooking us up with an awesome policy ID for Kaizen NFTs. Look for the eights. If you see a policy ID for Kaizen NFTs that doesn't include these five eights, then you know that it's not an official Kaizen NFT. So, and a great way to be able to verify any of the policies for these tokens, you can actually just find it right on our website. So you go to lovelacesaga.com. We did take a look at some of these main Cardano characters. Let's take a look at some of these booster characters. Let's go ahead and click on buy now. And it shows you right underneath this preview, the policy ID. So we can see seven followed by five eights. So that's an easy way to be able to tell. I love the fact that it's got five eights in a row. I think that's a really unique policy ID. So we're going to roll with that. Uh, something to keep out for, for any type of Cardano NFT project is you want to make sure you're verifying the correct policy ID, especially if you are going to be purchasing tokens on the open marketplace. So those are just some of the things that I'm extremely excited about related to the Lovely Saga and our project that we have for Kaizen NFTs. As far as any questions, if you have questions, if you want to engage with our community, if you just want to talk about Lovely Saga and some of the potential characteristics that we could incorporate with our game, please do consider joining our Discord. So an easy way to be able to do that is if you follow us at Kaizen Crypto or at Lovely Saga, the Discord link is going to be on our Twitter. When you click on this link, it's going to take you right to our Discord server. I've already got it pulled up here on my computer. Essentially, what that looks like here, you're going to be welcomed into our chat. Welcome to Kaizen Crypto Discord server. You've got a whole bunch of cool things here. We've got the general chat. You've got an option for the Lovely Saga if you wanted to engage with the community for our game. If you want to talk with people who are like-minded and are obsessed about everything Cardano, this is going to be the place for it. So if you do have questions, please do head over to our Discord channel. We've got a great community there that can help you with any questions. So that is what I have for you all here in this video today. There's so many cool things coming up with the Lovely Saga and Kaizen NFTs. This space is truly evolving into just something incredible. And I'm so incredibly excited to be on this journey with you all. So if you guys do decide to purchase your own Kaizen NFTs, please be sure to let me know down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you all. Let me know what you guys think. How is the user experience? Do you guys like the artwork? What are some ideas that you have for the gamification? Let me know down in the comment section. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.